Hi friends, welcome back to today's Jumpstart video. For today, I am Teacher Brianna and I am going to be reading to you The Puddle Pail by Elisa Clevin. So if you guys know, this is called The Spine, okay? And this is called The Front of the Book and this is The Back of the Book. And just to recap, The Spine holds all the pages of the book together. Okay, so we can just go ahead and dive on in. We have right here, the puddle pail. Okay. One bright morning after a storm, Ernst, a young blue crocodile, and his big green brother, Saul, set off for the beach. They skipped through the wet grass and stamped through the mud, drumming, drumming on their shiny pails. I'm going to fill my pill with sand and build a sand castle, said Ernest, who loved to make things. So right here we have Ernst and his brother, Sol. Maybe I'll find some rocks too, said Sol. All shapes and colors for my rock collection. And some feathers for my feather collection. And maybe some string. Sol bent down to pick up a rubber band. Just the thing for my rubber band collection. You are to start a collection, Ernst. I don't know what to collect, Ernst replied. Hmm. Collect something you really like, said Sol. Something that comes in all different sizes and colors and shapes. That way your collection will be interesting. So we can see them here. He's collecting some rubber bands for his rubber band collection. And he's telling his brother Ernst, like, maybe you should, maybe you should start a collection. But he doesn't know what collection to start of. So he's trying to think. Ernst watched the clouds and made flower shapes and seahorse shapes in the sky. He watched a little snake cloud puff up into a dragon. He watched a rabbit cloud curl into a ball. Clouds are interesting, he said. I wish I could collect clouds. Clouds, exclaimed Sol. You can't collect clouds. Think of something else you like. So are we able to collect clouds? No, right? Because they're up in the sky. There's no way we can get to them and collect them for ourselves. Stars, said Ernest, imagining the night sky. I love to watch the stars. But you can't collect stars either, said Sol. They're too far away and too big and very, very hot. But they look so small and cold, said Ernst. I wish I could collect stars. Again, just like the clouds, he couldn't collect them because he's they're so far, far away and there's just no possible way to get them. I know, said Sol. Starfishes. You could collect them. I like starfishes in the ocean, said Ernst, but I don't think I want to collect them. Look at all the beautiful starfishes on the bottom. Well, Sol suggested, what about star-shaped cookies? You could collect star-shaped cookies with frosting and star-shaped chocolate cookies with sprinkles, Ernst added. And star-shaped cherry cookies with toasted nuts, said Sol. Ernst's mouth started watering. I wish I could collect a bunch of cookies right now. In my stomach... Ernst is getting very hungry just thinking about the cookies. Just then, something caught Sol's eye. A bottle cap lying in a puddle. Look at that sparkly bottle cap, Ernst. You could start a bottle cap collection. It's pretty, Ernst agreed, but I like the puddle it's in even more. The puddle, said Sol. It looks like a piece of the sky on the ground. I wish I could collect it. You see how the puddle looks like the clouds are in the puddle? He wants to collect the puddles. Do you guys think that's possible? Do you think he's able to collect his puddles? You can collect puddles, said Sol. Yes, I can collect puddles, said Ernst. They're not too far away, or too big, or too hot, and I don't want to eat them. Splash, splish, splash. Ernst scooped the puddle into his pail. You see that right here? Ernst, said Sol, you're not really going to start a puddle collection, are you? Yes, said Ernst, I am. He scooped up a green puddle, round as a saucer. Splash, splash. It joins the other puddles in the pail. Sol rolled his eyes. Since you're going to stay here collecting puddles, I'll go down to the beach and collect myself some real things. You guys see he has all his puddles. He has his two separate pails with his puddles inside of them. Puddles are real, thought Ernst. As he searched for more to collect, here's a purple puddle. You see that how the purple house is reflecting on top of the puddle and it's making the puddle look purple. And a striped one, just because of the fence. You guys see that? And a flowered one, 
Look at all the flowers reflecting onto the puddle. Here's a puddle full of diamonds and a puddle full of squares. Look at that right here. A puddle full of gumballs and a puddle full of brooms. A puddle like an Easter egg, a puddle like a wheel, and a puddle with a pretzel in it. Slippery puddles, smooth puddles, lemony, lettery, cool puddles. Ernst sang a song as he scooped the puddles up, splish splash sang the puddles as they slid into the pail. You guys see how right here he's collecting all the different puddles and look at all the puddles having different shapes and shapes and patterns and that's what he loves about the puddles because they're all different. Soul came back with his pail piled high. Look what I got Ernst. 12 seashells, 8 feathers, 19 little rocks, 3 clumps of seaweed, a marble, half a nutshell, and a plastic dinosaur without a head. I got a lot of puddles Ernst announced. All different sizes and colors and shapes. Soul peered into Ernst's pail. Your puddles have all run together. They look like a pail full of ordinary water. They're all one big puddle now, said Ernst. And Ernst and Soul puddle. That's the weirdest collection I've ever heard of, Soul replied. What can you do with the puddle? What can he do with the puddle? Do you guys know? What are some ideas that he could do with the puddle? I'll think of something. Ernst carried his pail carefully as they started for home. I know, said Soul. You can help me wash off sand off my new collections. You can wash your own collections, said Ernst. I'll think of something else to do with my puddle. He doesn't want to waste his puddle on washing off his brother's sand, right? Because that's his collection. Ernst set his puddle pail on the grass and sat down to swing. When he swung, his puddle slowly turned from gold to pink. Clouds swam in and out like fishes. You guys see he's just swinging right there. So the sky is moving. The clouds are swirling around. The sky is changing colors because it's sunset. So the puddle, the colors are changing from gold to pink in his pail. When night fell, stars collected in the puddle pail and a little piece of the moon too. Oh, do you guys see that? That's so pretty. So he did end up getting his stars and the clouds in the last page. Early the next morning, Ernst went out to check on his pail. A thirsty dog was drinking from it. You like my magic puddle soup? Asked Ernst. The dog wagged her tail and drank some more, leaving Ernst just enough water to paint some color pictures. Ernst painted the dog and he painted some clouds and some stars and many, many puddles. Look at all the puddles designs that he used to have and he's painted them all with the water from the petal pails. Soul came by, his pail filled with flowers and, a cr and acorns and leaves. I started a new collection, he said. What have you got there, Ernst? A dog, replied Ernst, and a painting collection. Oh, said Soul, what a collection, with clouds and stars and everything. I used part of my puddle collection to make it, to make it Ernst explained. The dog drank the other part. Ernst petted the dog. He looked at the clouds and the stars and the puddles shining on the grass. He felt proud and happy and hungry too since he hadn't eaten breakfast yet. What do you guys think he should eat for breakfast? Maybe some cookies since he was craving some cookies earlier. Let's go collect blackberries, he said, from the bushes down the road. Good idea. Sol grabbed his pail. Maybe we'll find some pennies on the way and some pine cones and some gum wrappers. And maybe some shadows too, said Ernst. Shadows, said Soul. You can't. Yes, I can. I can collect shadows, Ernst cried. He caught one for a second in his pail. You guys see the shadow of the, of the butterfly right there? The butterfly is flying over and it's creating a shadow right in his pail. And Ernst had caught it in his pail. And when it fluttered off, he and Soul filled their pails and themselves with sweet, juicy blackberries. How yummy. Wasn't that a, such a great story, everybody? I love the part where he was able to do so many different designs with his pail, such as, let's go back here real quick. He found all of these beautiful designs. He found the, um, the stripe design off of the fence and the flowery design off of the flowers. And then he did end up getting his stars and his and his clouds in, in, the, in the bucket, in his pail. Wasn't that such a great story? 
So I hope you guys enjoyed the story for today. And maybe you guys have a collection. Maybe you guys would like to start a collection. He showed you that you guys can make a collection of pretty much anything. Even if somebody says it's impossible, sometimes there's a way around it. So maybe go start in a collection. Or if you guys already have a collection, share it with us. And we'd love to hear about it. That is going to be all for the reading part of session 15, the Puddle Pail. And we will see you guys for the next activity. I hope you guys all have a good day. Bye, friends.